Hi, welcome to Bill and Hannah. Hannah, you're playing Hoddle, is that correct? And Bill, you're Tevier in, Tevier, the, yes. in the co-production of Fiddler on the Roof. Yes. Um, so this is a community production. It is. And so you're playing as a community, but you're also reflecting another community from quite a long time ago, from the early 1900s, um, the Jewish community and based in, in Russia, is that correct? Or close yes. to Russia? Yes. Russia. Um, how does it feel as, as performers to try and recreate another another community and how has Sarah the director helped you with, with doing that? I think that to, up to a point um, you rely on, on the text that you're given. You rely on the writers having done that sort of research really. Uh, and so really what we're trying to do is to be faithful to their text. But Sarah has certainly done a great deal of, of background research on this and on the, the Jewish aspects as well. So, for example, there are, there are things called mezuzahs, um, which um, Jewish people have on the, the right hand, the right hand door job. And as you go into their house, you kiss the mezuzah. It's, it's a beautifully decorated little tube and it has a, a, a scroll from the Torah in it. Uh, and so, you know, you're, bless, you're, you're blessing and so on. Um, I had no idea about that and it's certainly not in the script. So little things like that. Sarah has added, but they're not little. They're really big. And also the, the Sabbath prayer, yes. the, ho the whole um, actual Jewish ceremony, we've learnt it and now all the mamas do it in the, in the show. And you're just learning, you're just learning stuff about their, like, the Jewish uh, community all the time. Yeah. It's really interesting, really, really interesting. Last Friday we finished rehearsals an hour early because sundown was at two minutes past nine. So we finished and we celebrated Sabbath as a, as a, a, a company. Um, and How did that a, feel? How did that feel? Absolutely wonderful. It was so heartwarming. Yeah, it, it was filled with candlelight, wasn't it? We turned yes. all the lights. Yeah, and candlelight. We did the, the whole service and we had the bread and it wasn't, it was, was it grape juice? Grape juice, it? yes. Yeah, and um, it was, it was beautiful, wasn't it? And we yeah. sang the Sabbath prayer song afterwards. There are people in, the, in the, the cast who are from Jewish families and one of them, Sarah, not the director, another one, um, she'd actually typed out the blessings that you say for, for the candles, for the drink, for the bread uh, and, and we read them all out um, and she told us the Jewish pronunciation um, and so we actually celebrate sab Sabbath as a company on stage as designed by the writers of the piece but then we celebrated Sabbath all together as a company off stage. Mm -hmm. It was an incredible bonding yeah, thing. Yeah, you felt so it's, much closer to yeah, it. Yeah, it was, it so was brilliant. Nice. Yeah, and I brought chickens in. <laughs>So how do you feel about the rehearsals and how do they work differently from an amateur to a professional rehearsal which you're experiencing now? There's a great deal more discipline expected from you <laughs> and, and the discipline, discipline is, is maintained not just by the director but the, the stage manager is there throughout the rehearsal period. There's an assistant director, we have a choreographer and a musical director so you know. Um, it's a, it's a young company. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> They're more. Most of them are more Hannah's age than mine. Um, but it's a very young company, so you know it, it, it's difficult for them to maintain. We, we've been rehearsing the last week or so for eight hours at a time. Yeah. <laughs> difficult it's when you're fifteen. A long time. To, yeah. Yes. Um, so they do get a bit, but but you know there's an expectation, and Sarah keeps saying to them, "We're in the room. We're rehearsing. You want to be professionals? Start now." Yeah. So you know, shush. Keep quiet, but we're it's, working. It's good to start that um, yeah. young because obviously for people who want to go into it, I, I want to go to theatre. So to have that experience of already, you know, having that professional conduct is is really nice and it gets you ready for the industry I guess. Yeah. So. Cool. I've seen um, a couple of people, um, I've seen the costumes on photographs and I've seen some drawings of the costumes that come from um, illustrations, sorry, pictures by Mark Chagall. Um, and I've also noticed a couple of people in, in wheelchairs yeah. here. It's great to be inclusive. Yeah. But how does that work within the choreography and the movement and everything? How do you, how do you feel that's the, that would fit in with the, for an audience member's point of view? 
I think the, the, the varying levels of physical ability um, and, and understanding, intellectual ability, ha have been managed beautifully. There's a great deal of understanding from Sarah as the director, from Mel as the choreographer, from Jazz as her assistant, from Shoned as the musical director. A great deal of understanding that people might need more time, you know, to learn that. Actually, not all of them do. <laughs> There's a young man in this company, you show him a dance move once and that's it. Yeah, He's got it, it down. <laughs> He's much better than the rest of us. So, um, and I think it's been very good for, for us as performers that, you know, there was a little bit of a, I don't quite know how to relate to this person, you know, am I, am I being a bit patronising? No. <laughs> now we're just all one company. I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't want to say it in a patronising way, but I don't really notice the wheelchairs, no, you know, or the learning disability, or the, I don't really notice it at all. I suppose that it makes other you members more of a, the company. It makes you more of a community, yeah, if you have absolutely. such a diverse range of absolutely. people. Absolutely. It's more like a normal community, so yeah. it's it's so nice. And well, the person who's playing my older sister, Saito, she's in a wheelchair. Yes. She moves like <laughs> so Greece gracefully. Mike. Yeah, so <laughs> gracefully. You would not even know. No. But she, yeah, she's amazing on on that thing. So yeah. yeah. Cool. Last Mike? question: Are you enjoying the singing? Yes. The singing aspect. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much. It's nice Very to much. Hear all the different songs. Yeah. I haven't sung for years, so I've been having lessons, and they've paid off. Yes, I'm loving it. <laughs> loving it. I was just going to say about the disability, my concern at the beginning, when I learned that, that people with disabilities were going to be cast, I thought, oh, is, is this a bit of tokenism? Yeah. Are they going to be cast so that Curve can say, well, they're in the company, you know, they're in the company. but they'll be right at the back of the stage where you go, not at all. They are right at the front of the stage. Yeah. <laughs> they are playing principal parts, Seitel yeah. is, is in a wheelchair, they're, they're in the dancers, they're in the singing, they're in the village, they're just there, just like any other member of the company. It's been absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you.